Samsung 2022 TV lineup, the frame, micro LED. Chris Davies, January 2, 2022, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. CES is known for its big TV debuts, and Samsung is bringing plenty to this year's show including a new version of its The Frame, an upgrade to its huge modular micro-LED system, and up to 8 Kelvin's Neo QLED models. As well as the TV sets themselves, there's also a broader focus on what you might be watching, and how. With new AI-powered image processing and more. Samsung The Frame 2022. Samsung's TV that pretends to be art is narrowing the gap between the two worlds even further, with CES 2022 bringing a new model with even more realistic graphics. The QLED panel has a new matte anti-reflective coating, which is designed to cut the light scattering that glossy screens would traditionally exhibit. The result is fewer reflections and a surface that looks more like paper or canvas. As for what can be shown on that display, there's a new art store UX which Samsung says should make it easier to find new artwork content. Like before, there are ray interchangeable bezels in the My Shelf to better integrate the frame into a domestic setting. For 2022, screen sizes from 32 to 85 inches will be Samsung Micro LED 2022. If the frame 2022 is meant to blend in, Samsung's new Micro LED TV range can't help but catch the eye. That's in part because of its modular nature, with the panel system supporting up to 178 inch configurations. If that's a little too big for your space or budget 2022 is bringing a new 89 inch pre-configured micro led system alongside the 99 and 110 inch versions size isn't the only change for ces 2022 the new displays still rely on 24.9 million micro leds but samsung says there's 10 percent wider color support now too there's dolby atmos and samsung object tracking sound pro as well samsung neo qled 2022 more attainable, Samsung's Neo QLED range now also gets imaging updates for CES 2022. There are both 4K and 8 Kelvins models, the latter now the first in the world to support 144Hz input with support for Dolby Atmos, active voice amplifier, object tracking sound, and space fit sound. With specific Samsung sound bars, 2022 TVs will use both their own and the sound bar speakers rather than turning the former off when the latter is active. Select sound bars will have wireless Dolby Atmos support too. Samsung has also made more use of AI for image processing. Object Depth Enhancer, for example, analyzes what's on screen and figures out what's the foreground in, what's on the background. Then, it can treat the two differently, sharpening the subject and bringing what Samsung claims is almost a 3D effect as a result. Only without demanding special glasses. AI is also used for shape adaptive light control, which analyzes the shape of objects and then adjusts the shape of the light to suit. The result, Samsung says, is that bright places look brighter and dark places look darker, but without losing clarity for shapes whiten them. For 2022, Neo QLED also gets a bump from 12-bit to 14-bit backlighting, for more accurate brightness control too. Samsung Watch Together Like Apple's SharePlay, Samsung Watch Together promises to make watching the same content more straightforward. In the case of the 2022 Samsung TV lineup, it uses new multi-view feature, which can show up to four sources on screen at once but to show live camera feeds from friends and family rather than streaming or broadcast sources. It'll work either with a USB webcam or, wirelessly, with the camera built into a compatible smartphone or tablet. Samsung Gaming and SmartThings The other big interface change is around gaming. The new Samsung Gaming Hub will bring together physical and streaming gaming platforms, for example, in a centralized place that shows any connected console and any on-demand services, like Stadia, that you might have access to. There's also up to 4K at 144Hz VRR support, and all four of Samsung's HDMI ports now support HDMI 2.1. There's a new game bar, too, which shows individual settings to make tweaking to match personal taste more straightforward. Finally, there's both zoom-in mode, which can be used to magnify harder to see graphics, such as maps, and ultra-wide multi-view that can show both a game and something like a YouTube walkthrough on screen at the same time. Finally, Samsung's 2022 TVs are gaining an integrated SmartThings hub that'll support Wi-Fi smart home devices natively, and with an optional dongle. Zigbee devices too. There's also a new, customizable home map which can show an easier graphic of the different controllable gadgets around the house. From the web, powered by ZergNet, video games you should never play in front of your kids. Streamers who accidentally shared things while streaming. The real difference between an Intel Core i5 and i7. This Halo Infinite save glitch is making fans furious. Topics. Sus's 2022 home entertainment Samsung TVS. Must read bits.